Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Tuesday the 18th of April 2017 and I'm just on my way out to go and see the new musical Half a Sixpence which actually like opened last year and I saw it in December of last year doing Vlogmas as a vlog of it if you want to go and check that out. Really enjoyed it and so I'm very excited to be invited tonight to go and see it again and maybe have a little chat with some of the cast members before the show and yeah it's going to be good times. My friend Daisy's going to be joining me as well and also I know quite a few people who are going to be there as well like Rakaya and Sean so it's going to be a good day so come along with me. I am here, there you go, Neville Cowell Theatre in all its glory with the incredible half six fan sign over there and there's Rakaya, how good timing! <laughs> Soundproof the room that we were in just to kind of learn the banjos. And uh, no, yeah, uh, pass her around if you want. Do be careful. She's nice and heavy. Okay. <laughs> but she's not so smart. I'm just gonna hang it it's rather she's heavy. <laughs> so is it like the guitar playing it? It's no, it's not. No, it's, very, it's like the violin. It's four, four strings. strings yeah. Normally, normally a, a, a banjo, five string banjo is from um, America. So okay. five string banjo is kind of a. Uh, uh, country western kind of music you'd hear it in all like uh, grass, bluegrass. Um, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's alright, don't worry, it's just sturdy. <laughs> Absolutely, the strings okay. break a lot, that's uh, that's very stressful, the strings break. And once uh, one of the girls in the cast went to pick it up really angrily during one of the scenes, and she just completely missed it with her hand, and it just went flying across the stage <laughs> oh, and made the most horrendous sound ever. And I just did that like this. Oh god! <laughs> But if you listen to the last <coughs> minute of that track, it just continues to build for the entire minute until you get to the electric guitar at the end. You're welcome. You just danced on the West End stage. <laughs> So we just had a little dance session with the lovely Jay and Sam. Sam, I'm Sam as well. Yeah. <laughs> and it was tiring. How we were all I'm exhausted. We? I don't understand I how you guys do it. That. Every night. <laughs> but we, really we cool. pushed them hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was ten seconds and we couldn't cope. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look back. <laughs> yeah, this is probably for the best. I was literally like, I'm bowing out of this. I can't. Do <laughs> you it. sounded good. You sounded good. Just, well, we we I tried had to. Panting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you're the dance captain of the show, yeah. and you are the... A swing. A swing, okay. And it's life is exciting as a swing, isn't it? I guess It is. Night. You can never predict where you're going to be at what time. Yeah. Cool. It's always a... Um, it's always a bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get much notice, or is it literally like you come into work and like, oh, you We get given one of these for my lovavely dance captain. Is it on the day then, or...? Yeah. Wow. So that that will tell work. Sam where she is on for every number. A few pages. A few pages of... Uh, <laughs> Ten page document. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. Look through your name, do it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, kudos. I mean, I'm so respect. <laughs> Like I've always body. thought like swings are incredible for yeah. every show, so. Oh, nice yeah. both of you. Well, it's very nice, talented. It's nice to be recognised. Yeah, yeah. Aww. There needs to be like a swing awards. Oh, definitely. I I'm 100%. Yes, do it. You have best understudy, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'm a bad, bad loser, loser though. I'm a bad loser. <laughs> I'm actually so maybe not. not. <laughs> oh, so this is the so Revolve, isn't it? I just want to show that as well, which is yeah, really, really cool and exciting. So this is the main one you said, the one that, actually, no, that's the one that moves. Yeah. there are three. Okay. One. Two, three, and the outside one does revolve as well. Okay, um, this one here. But we don't, we don't tend to use it as much. Right. And the one in the middle is still because we can't move it because the door is oh, preset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the trap door for the door to gotcha. rise up. Yeah. Can you imagine um, if that revolved as well? Yeah, yeah. Or it came up. <laughs> here, there, and <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> wouldn't you? Going all different directions. Yeah. And um, fingers crossed in the direction that they're told to go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Here's the hope. Well, there you go. Well, I look a bit red, guys, but that's because I've been dancing. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> so we've been in the theatre for about 45 minutes now, and so far we've already had a dance lesson with the dance captain on stage, as you would have seen, and someone of the swings. It was very, very difficult. It made me appreciate the class members even more, like because I just the section that we learned was maybe like five minutes or less, less than that, maybe like a minute, and it was very hard. But then I'm not a dancer at all. And then we also had a little like banjo session with the lovely um, Charlie Stemp, who plays a lead in the role. Um, Arthur, and then we had a little Q&A with some of the cast members as well. It was all very nice. They're all like they seem like a very lovely bunch, so that's really cool. Now we're in the bar area for some nibbles and drinks and stuff. So it's very nice. We've got about an hour until the show starts, and we'll also be given a phone up each. So this is for me and my friend Daisy, who's going to be joining me soon. And we've also got sure. I'm Kaya. I'm Kaya, but you haven't said hello to my vlog yet. So I don't know you're on the stage. Oh yeah, you did actually. Hi well, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's my tactic in all requires. I'm like hi. Yeah, Just in case you didn't know I'm there. Hello. Oh, you've already got your wine. Well done. Sweaty. I know. I'm still. I'm. I'm, I'm still. It's like the worst time to meet us. So this is the situation. I've got some crisps here, which um, I'll gladly take. There's no like electronic sign behind us. What's no, happening at no the moment? Knows. What's happening at the no, moment? We're posing for a photo whilst wow. Rakai tries to focus her camera. <laughs> How tiny is this area that we're in? Can we just, uh, you don't understand, we guys? We're we trying to all fit in to here. Side to side. Because it's, it's a good idea, because we've got the sign over there. But it is very hard to all fit. Okay, look at that state. Okay, okay, bye. Joke aside, guys, this uh, sign here. It's just jokes aside, everyone. <laughs> I heard it in the distance. I know, what and situation you turned around. Are we in very, now? very. You turned around. Very situation like, is it? The situation is quite ridiculous at the moment. But I was just about to say, is it? Is it ridiculous? The situation is ridiculous. It is an incredible. What would you call this? It's too marquee. Marquee. Oh. Signage. Yeah, that's, that's quite clever. Well, I call that a marquee. That's a marquee. Okay. That's signage. Sure. Well, uh, this is short. Um, there's a language with Sean Nolan. That, <laughs> that's me. I've now been joined by. Hi, Daisy. Daisy. I should have been wonderful and very. What's the colour? What do you think of the colour of this? Red, love, orange, orangey red. Very nice. So we just about to have some drinks. I'm gonna have a. Um, what? Are you excited about this? Have you had it? No, I've had. I've had really amazing things. I got friends who've been seeing multiple times. Really? It, yeah. it is incredible. I saw it only once uh, last year, and I saw. Yeah, but actually, on the same guys, it was really good. But um, I'm glad. I'm happy to see the. I think Charlie Stemp is there. Yeah, see, he's in numbers for a lot of. Yeah, he, he we got to meet him earlier as well. Lovely guy. So very excited again. We're in row eight as well. What's wrong? I know. Oh no! You're so much of a hair up. Look at it. Yeah. Not saying you like. I am now here back with an egg this I'm joking. Um, um, we are just chilling now. We're just uh, chilling. We've got some. Um, what's that? I've uh, just got Diet Pepsi. Lovely. Um, Enjoying it? I can't it? to drink alcohol right now. Like, no, you just, just, just like, like, I can't. I like it. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't be bothered. That's, that's, you yeah. have to be in the right mood. Yeah. Um, you can drink, do you? Exactly. Yeah. I literally, this is probably the first drink in about. It's a nice treat. Three months, yeah. Before, yeah. 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 Three months even? I don't know. I've never gone to that age. <laughs> Mm. I agree. Free drinks are nice, but I just don't fancy it right now. There you go. And also, if it's rosé, I've got my rosé. Rosé is my favourite. Don't like red. Oh, do you not? White. Mm. White is my least favourite. Red is my favourite. Red is my favourite. Yeah. Red is my favourite. But if there's like an elderflower on it, then I can match with that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's about all the drink selection right now. <laughs> We were before we started talking about drinks, talking about Disney, which is obviously always a topic of conversation in my brain. So, you know, it is now nearly time to go to our seat, which is very exciting. We're going to be in row H24, as I said. So, um, I'll show you my ticket. This is uh, my ticket over here. What if it focuses? And we've got two other seekers. Daisy's going to be coming as well. She's on the toilet. Um, <laughs> We've also got a lovely um, drink voucher for the interval, which is very, very kind. So thank you so much to the people who invited us, the PR team, Emily. Um, it's just really nice. The nice events kind of be looked after so nicely. But because I'm a bit of a science nerd, yeah. it was so interesting. We're just talking about, what was it called? Photograph 51, a show that was in the theatre a couple about, of years ago. About what's an incredible, but not really, discovery of DNA. Yeah, but the whole thing was incredible in it. Yeah, well, it was amazing. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Like an hour, an hour and a half long play. And really, really set good. And, everything. and the whole story was interesting yeah. as well. So we are in our seats now, and it's a beautiful view. This is the stage. I do love this little banjo situation with half a sixpence. Lovely theatre. 
Oh, cool. Beautiful theatre, Noel Coward, and um, yeah, you excited, Daisy? I'm so excited. I'll speak to you in interval. Thank you so much. Oh, it's all right. Thank you for bringing me. I'm excited to be here. Two half six princes go together like this. We're sweethearts now, aren't we? This is who usually serves me. It is you, isn't it? It is, miss. What's this? Who's got money? He's coming to money. He's coming to money. It is the interval now. How are you finding it so far, Daisy? So interesting. And we just both discovered that we saw Love Story. Yeah, it was back in like 2010 or 11, and Emma Williams was in it as Jenny, and she's in the show as well. And the evil actress, a fantastic singer and artist. She's incredible. And also um, Charlie Stemp as well, who we'll was talking about how incredible he is as a dancer. I cannot stop watching him. He has got the most beautiful lines. No wonder that everyone says like waves about him because he's the star of the show. He just shines on that stage. So. Now we're just waiting to um, get a, a drink with our vouchers. I'm going to go for a drink, so you're going to go for it. At Elderflower. There you go. And then we're going to go back to our seats for acting. The show's just finished. Evidence. There's enough people Did you like it? It was really good, really good. good. Did you enjoy it, Makaya? I love it. Better seats. Yeah. So, much. Were you so much better. Yeah, literally. Like. Yeah. 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 Somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere up there. Much How better seats. Like, yeah, like I want to say like twelve pounds oh, fifty. Good. That's good. Like that's that's dirt yeah. cheap, but that is pretty dirt cheap. view. <laughs> Didn't you, didn't you say from, yeah, yeah I that's true. If you're a fan, like, and you, you see enjoy the show like a few times, like, it's fine, like, to sit down here, but first time viewing, would not recommend. Go <laughs> so, so, guys, the show is incredible. Like, yeah. it's, like, you just have a smile on your face throughout most of it. It's just so, it's like, just a happy joy. Yeah. yeah. And, and the song at the end, and the vows, and I just, they did, obviously, they, they sang, they did the song and the choreography that we learned earlier, which um, I didn't like. actually, about. I couldn't even, yeah. yeah. Um, so but it was fun. interesting to see it properly, and I was like, wow, I mean, this is how you do it, and this is how I failed at it earlier. Did you not feel that throughout the whole show, I'm going to perch. Sure. Um, throughout the whole show, having done that bit before, you had so much more appreciation for like all of the choreography. I was like, Definitely. It's really difficult. Because I realised I can't like, even do a random twist yeah. or turn, like, let alone You obviously know else. that it's really, really difficult, but when you try and do it, you're then like, oh wow, that's intense. Yeah. yeah. I love the lighting. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we are now waiting to potentially go backstage for a bit. I think we've got my side. We're, We're all on this well, side. But, um, yeah. So we are getting backstage now, which is rather exciting. This is the situation right now. Oh, Ooh, this is high stairs. It is quite high, isn't it? High stairs. <laughs> well, this is interesting. All the wigs and the hats and everything. Super interesting. Look at the yeah. hats, they're beautiful. They are very, very nice, aren't they? Wow. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, we're on stage. That's so cool. It's weird when you don't see the thing, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How are you feeling, <laughs> Daisy? I feel like I'm in the countryside. <laughs> don't you think that it is quite small? Uh, the, the no, no. Stage. But off, off stage it looks really small, but on stage it feels so much bigger. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah we do. So some of these, the second part tonight. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so sorry, just give you a quick opportunity. We're going to lock up in a minute, so the electrician's home. But we're just giving you a quick opportunity to come backstage. You won't see the, the auditorium at the moment because we've got what's called the safety curtain in
it's a legal thing so the public can see that there is a, a fire curtain should there be fire. It's quite a busy show, it's not a crazy show, we've all done lots of more crazy shows but what it is, is it's very consistent and it's very, it just keeps going. Uh, it doesn't stop at any point. No member of staff has time to go and have a cup of tea, <laughs> sit down, put their feet up, that just doesn't happen. Uh, neither does the cast. When you're looking at the auditorium, you're left and right are different from the ones that you would have been if you'd been sitting out there. So at the moment, this is left and this is right. People get very confused when we talk about that, when they're looking at you and they're telling you to go the wrong way. Um, so we are on stage. The grass, obviously, you saw at the end of that one, uh, that gets, uh, it gets rolled up and uh, it gets dried overnight. Um, uh, and is uh, mm. going to get a new one because it's starting to show some signs of wear. <laughs> so, uh, and up in the grid, you will see uh, our lovely seagull that uh, made an appearance. Oh yeah, she's so, yeah. that one in the garden <laughs> um, And the the water sprinklers are up in the grid as well. It's, a, cool. it's a very tightly packed grid. There's a lot of stuff up there. A um, lot of lights, uh, water system, lots of other things. Uh, Stage right wing, we have a little quick change room down there, which is probably akin to a broom cupboard, you'll probably think. Um, a lot of stuff goes on in there. Um, we don't have what's called a crossover. Some theatres you will have a set that facilitates you to cross over the back, or some theatres also have a substage crossover, which means you can go underneath the stage. We don't have that here. When we when we were from Chichester, which is a huge auditorium, a huge backstage area, we had to reconfigure some of the show because we can't, you simply can't get backwards and forwards. So suddenly you had people sit stand to right going, I can't get backstage left, I've got quick change. So we had to kind of like redo re all of that. Um, but that was fine. Uh, this is a this is a quite a small theatre compared to Chichester backstage. The footprint of the set remains the same, but um, a lot of other things change, like all their quick changes and, the, and their journeys. In Chichester, because it's a, a purpose-built theatre, it's beautiful, of course. It's built mm. like to people's specifications. So you walk off stage and you walk straight into the dressing room, or the other side you wheel a costume, a rail a costume straight into wardrobe. It's really, really easy. You move into an old Victorian theatre, mm -hmm. and suddenly you've got no lifts, no, hundreds of stairs, and five flights. <laughs> so it's just like so people just have to tr maintain their show in a very different way. It's really important on your musical because if you are on different levels, you would have to employ something like 20 <coughs> dressers and, and a lot more actors in the company to be able to get to the to five flights up and down. It would be exhausting. So we don't do that. So we, we, make, we make them come down in their first costume and then they have like a dressing gown and some slippers and they, some of them remain down here for the majority of the show and they just bring their book down with them because to go up and down, they don't have time to do that. We have a big quick change stage left uh, next to Charlie's uh, dressing room and we've got a small stage, uh, quick change stage right and then we've got the stage right wing which has the furniture on the stage left. We've also, because we've quite a tight on space here again, we have a lift at the back which contains, at the top of the show, contains all the simple tune furniture, the yellow stuff for the other party. Mm. That gets, gets left on the lift and, and during the interval it gets swapped around for actual and stuff because there just isn't enough room on the deck to keep it all. This is also interesting, guys. So this is stage right. We've got some of the costumes here. Please stick your mic ta tape here. <laughs> Some other stuff here. Look at all the drinks over there. That's interesting. Um, sticks. A lot of people have sticks in the show. Oh, look at all the banjos. That's hilarious. As you guys probably know, a lot of banjos get used in the show, so that's where they all are. We are continuing the situation. Oh, I'm just scared. We're not ready for. <laughs> that's cool. The glass stuff. I before E, except after C. That's used towards the end of the show, as you would have, you know, if you haven't seen the show, guys, you should come and see it, of course. Um, and then you'll see where that gets used, but it's a really cool part of the show. Anyway, let's continue the situation. I have lost Daisy, by the way, I have no idea where she is. Oh, there's a door. Lovely. That's cool. This is the stage situation, again. This is like basically the set, um, as you would have, again, if you come and see the show, you figure it out. Really cool. I'm gonna go to stage left now and have a look there. 
this is so cool look at that these are all the snails that um arthur's character has to eat in one of the scenes in act one um really cool i've never had snails before you comment down let me know if you've tried it i've always kind of wanted to but i've always also been scared i don't know and i've just found i found oh, these again okay. hey and at any one time there's up to about 28 people in here so it can be wow. quite bad they all get on thankfully which is great not too many festive cups sorry <laughs> you're right you're all in <laughs> um so on this on this floor of this theater there are two principal dressing rooms which are usually housed by stars or principal actors charlie has one on the other side it's a very similar size to this um and this one we turned into quick change because as i said there was simply wasn't enough room on stage and there's a lot of changes and as you've probably seen the ones that go in and out of rain which is the garden party and then in and out of the musical evening simple tune Ma they're, they're company numbers so you are getting 25 people ready at the same time um so in here we have uh, wigs and wardrobe so you'll see behind you it's like there's a whole facial board there which is where they pin all the tashes for the guys um, and then they get glued on and then they take them off and put them back on clean them for the next day there'll be uh, wig blocks behind you that's where some of the wigs get set most of the wigs get put on their heads uh, by the wigs department in their dressing rooms uh, before the show but as I say there'll be changes down here so they'll be doing them down here the pub was a truck that turned round into the shop here we didn't have room for the truck so it, it flew so on one side you've got the shop and then the pub comes in and you saw the double doors, it all flies in together. But you won't see that happening because it's happening behind the sliders, which are the, which are the shutters that come across. So it works a bit like Panto when you've got your front cloth, you bring the shutters in, <laughs> you, change the, you change the set behind, take the service out and then. But we've got the revolves going as well, which I think adds quite a lot of interest. Mm. People really like that simple tune bit where all the furniture goes round. So that seems to be like a winner with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really fun experience, wasn't it? There's another sign here for it. It uh, leads you to the Noel. You probably can't even see it, guys. But um, you can see it now. Noel Coward Theatre over there. Did you ever see Avenue Q when it was um, in one? It was at the Wyndham Theatre and also at the Noel Coward. I saw I think. Avenue Q when it was first in London. So when was that? Oh, oh in my time. I, I, I was, was too young. young. I was too young. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, such a good show, the Avenue Q. Shout out to that as well. But um, yeah, it's been a good show. I'm going to talk about it a bit more about the cast and everything when I get home from my program. So yeah. See you, say goodbye to where she gone. This is goodbye to um Bye. 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 <laughs> Daisy, and I'll see you soon. So I am home now guys as you can probably see and I thought I'd just uh, say a few last words about the show tonight. It was so good. I'm so glad I got to see it again. Um, I really enjoyed the show when I saw it back in December. Uh, but again, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, we had the understudy on for the role of Wall of Arthur. And he was really, really good. I think his name is Sam O'Rourke and I think it was his first show and he was fantastic. But, you know, of course when you have a show with like the face of um, the kind of Leeds guy on it and everything and I've heard such incredible things about um, Charlie Stemp that I just really wanted to see him as Arthur and so I'm really pleased I got to see him tonight and he was just outstanding so good such a great performer and he's only 23 years old he's like younger than me that's that's oh, wow I mean I wish I could have like like a quarter of his talent I don't even have that so yeah incredible performance from him and um, the whole cast was amazing honestly such a like a fun exciting joyous show it's like one of those not traditional musicals, but it's one of those musicals that has a lot of, basically a lot, a lot of dancing. So like old school, great dancing. Um, basically when you think of a musical, this is what you get. But on a, like a very high level, like it's incredible. The dancing is incredible. Obviously it's choreographed by Andrew Wright. Uh, and I've seen quite a few of his works before, Sting in the Rain. Uh, Andrew Wright did that a few years ago at the Palace Theatre. I just, I think his choreography is incredible. And you can see this, <laughs> you can see it in the show. Wow, uh, the energy that the cast have do all the dance moves and they just look like they're having a really great time and that really kind of uh, trans transfers into the audience um, and makes the audience really smiley and happy as well. Um, there are some sad bits in the show of course because you know every show has to have a bit of a, like a 
dramatic moment and kind of a storyline um but it's uh, it's never too sad and it's just it's very fun and the acting from everyone is incredible as i said as well earlier um me and daisy were talking about it emma williams who um is also in the show she plays the character i believe yeah her name is helen in the show the character name but yeah emma williams this is her let me show her to you um she is a phen phenomenal performer like again i saw her first many years ago in she loves me um, as the main um, girl in that show and she was fantastic and she's been nominated for Olivia was like three times I think she got nominated for this role as well I believe which is amazing and so did Charlie and she is amazing a, a great cast and obviously I'm not I can't name everyone but the whole team ensemble members everyone really really good I do want to give a quick shout out again to um, Jay Elster who was the dance captain as well as Sam Hull I believe who was um, the swing these two people were the, were the people who um, taught us the dance moves uh, before the show and I was awful at it like a joke aside I, I cannot dance <laughs> like wow it's incredible the amount of things that they can do because we honestly only learned like a small section of it it's kind of the last bit of the finale the bait where they jump and turn around it's, it's really cool but i i struggled but shout out to them it was lovely to meet them lovely girls and very talented um people as well obviously um and yeah as i said earlier being a swing is hard work and i think they definitely deserve more recognition it was also lovely to meet charlie stemp himself before the show um he played some banjo for us for a bit and just chatted to us for a bit and he even allowed us to like hold the banjo and have a look around and play with it if we wanted to obviously i didn't really attempt it because banjos i mean i play the guitar but i would never held a banjo before until tonight and banjos are very different to guitars and they've got four strings i didn't know that there you go I learned something today so guitar's got six strings but yeah um very talented guy charlie very lovely guy as well you can definitely see that he's loving life on stage but we need to meet him off stage as well he's just such a nice and happy and polite and charismatic person so i'm just very happy for him it's, it's great to see like a new kind of upcoming young former being be the lead i guess in a west end show we also had a quick a q a before the show with some of the cast members charlie was there emma williams was there i think sam or rook was there and one of the other cast members i couldn't film it because whilst the q a was happening they were having a warm-up on stage uh, and that meant that there was music on stage and they didn't want the music to obviously because of copyright reasons which is fine but it was still lovely to meet them all and have a quick chat it was lovely to see rukai and Sean and of course my friend Daisy who I haven't seen in quite a long time actually really good to catch up with her so thanks Daisy and also lastly a massive thanks to Emily from the Raw PR team she was the one who kind of invited me to this event and it was a lovely evening I really really enjoyed it and I'm really happy I got the chance to do it so that's it guys that's the end of the video please leave comments down below and let me know if you've seen Half of Expense the musical here if you haven't seen it i definitely recommend you go and see it you can get some cheap tickets if you want to or they do day seats and as my friend rukai said you can get like really cheap tickets for, like 12 pounds up in some of the circles and stuff it's worth it it's such a fun show the choreography will blow your mind the characters are so great the band is great like there's an orchestra on stage and i mean there's like live music playing with the banjos and stuff on stage as well it's a really really good musical but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye